We hot. What it do, shorties? What it do, shorties? What's up, my sweethearts? She likes it all the way up. It's your girl. She I am the realest. What it do, my sweethearts? I miss y'all. The girl was gone for a minute. But like I said, I'm back. Let's get in my sweetheart. Like this all the way up. And run this thing like cardio. My sweethearts, bro, what it do? No food, no fun, my sweethearts. I hope y'all got your lights all the way up and get ready for this justice and run this thing like cardio. My sweethearts, a seven-year-old dies in the Bronx and records show a history of abuse. Like always, this when these kids die, it's, believe me, it's a trail of abuse down the line when nobody done nothing, my sweethearts. That's why they're dead. Let's get it. Julicia Bates, who was found unconscious, my sweethearts, with a head injury, had been the subject of a child welfare case since birth. Her half-brother admitted beating her, a police official said. Um, life in a 10th floor apartment in the Bronx was supposed to be a new start for Jalicia Bates and her mother, from whom she had been taken at birth over safety concerns. But their reunion came to an abrupt and violent end on Tuesday when Jolicia Seven was found unconscious with a head injury and died at the hospital, the police said. On Wednesday, a high-ranking police official said the girl's 17-year-old half-brother had admitted to beating Julicia because he believed she had taken some snacks. No charges had been filed, and investigators were waiting for a medical examiner to determine the official cause of Julicia's death. I am disturbed right there, my sweetheart. I'm disturbed. I'm very disturbed. For real. Police officers and medics were summoned around 8 a.m. on Tuesday to the apartment in the Mitchell Houses, where the siblings lived with their 35-year-old mother. Navasia Jones and Julicia's one-year-old brother, a neighbor who had previously reported abuse in the apartment, watched from the hall as medics tried to retreat, revive. I'm sorry, my sweetheart. Tried to revive the girl. Then, as her mother followed them to an ambulance, and see that I'm ready to right, Doug walk something right there. Stop trying to act now. The mother Ray run to the ambulance like she don't know about the abuse that be going on in that house, just like the neighbors is claiming. You see the neighbors? They all out there looking while the medical examiners trying to save one of the family members when the neighbors looking like, I knew something was going to happen. They've been fighting in there all their life. But I want to know who is the abuser. It's only a mother. You telling me your 17 year old half brother and then the girl? So who, who think they tough? The 17 year old boy? I'd have put a bat right upside his head. Let's get it, my sweethearts. I just want to know who, who was the ones up in there doing all this abusing since it was the mom, the little girl, and then the boy. Let's get it. Shortly after 9 a.m., Julicia was pronounced dead. At Lincoln Medical Center, as Julicia's life slipped away, her mother told the police her daughter had fallen and hit her head on a desk around 5 a.m., then started vomiting three hours later. But there were other unexplained bruises on the girl's body. The police said, you lying piece of shit. Her older half-brother later told investigators about their dispute. According to the police official who spoke on the condition of anonymity to disclose details without authorization, he was taken to a facility run by the Administrator for Children's Services. The case recalled the death of a seven-year-old. Okay, wait, my sweetheart. After, um, okay. By the Administration for Children's Services, okay? My sweetheart, this is ongoing. Alright, so I said he was taken to a facility run by the administrators, right? Administration for Children's Services. The case recalled the death of seven-year-old 
Knox, Zamari Brown in 2006, my sweethearts, which forced an overhaul of the Child Welfare Agency, although a string of children deaths had followed under the agency's watch. Nick Zamari was beaten after a family member accused her of taking food without permission. The same reason Julius's brother hit her, according to police official. Unbelievable.